In this tutorial, we will teach you how to make your own power generating handheld windmill. For this workshop, you'll need the following materials. 4.25 by 9.5 inch piece of cardboard scored into three equal sections. One 4.25 by 6 inch piece of cardboard. 26 feet of 28 gauge mag wire. Or 1.75 by 1 by 0.5 inch neodymium magnets. One 1 by 1 by 2 inch piece of styrofoam. One 8 by 8 inch piece of cardstock. One unsharpened pencil. One 3 inch piece of 3 fourths inch diameter PVC pipe with a 5 eighths inch diameter hole in the center. Extra cardboard. Hot glue and electrical tape. The needed supplies are shown here. A windmill is simply a generator with blades attached. When wind moves the blades, the generator creates power. A generator consists of two main components, the stator and the rotor. We're going to start by assembling our stator. As the name suggests, this will be the stationary part of our generator. First, we need to create our wire coils with the mag wire. We will need four coils and we want them to be oval shaped with 50 turns. The larger dimension of the oval should be about 2 inches, while the shorter dimension should be about 1 inch. Be sure to leave about 5 inches of extra wire on each end of the coil to make connections later. One way to do this is to place a piece or two of cardboard on top of a few of your fingers, depending on the size of your hand, and wind the coil around these fingers. When you finish winding, secure the coil with a piece of tape on each side. The next step in assembling the stator is to attach the coils to the cardboard. Begin by aligning the pieces of cardboard and placing the coils in the center of the shorter pieces. The fourth coil should go on the larger piece of cardboard and be aligned with the others. Make sure that all the wire ends for connections are facing the same direction. Glue or tape the coils to the pieces of cardboard. The stator will be put in place around the rotor after we complete assembly of the rotor. For the rotor, we will start by putting a hole in the styrofoam block for the shaft. You will want a pencil size hole to run the length of the styrofoam. Depending on the type of foam you are using, you can use the pencil to make this hole. Next, we're going to attach the magnets to the styrofoam. You're going to want to use glue for this step. Begin by gluing one magnet to one side of the styrofoam block. Wait for the glue to dry, rotate the block by 90 degrees, and then glue the second magnet. You will want the sides of the adjacent magnets to be attracted to each other. Continue this process until all four magnets are glued to the block. Slide a PVC pipe, the magnet block, and then the other PVC pipe onto the pencil. Test that the pencil will spin. If the pencil is catching on anything, fix this before moving ahead. Now we are ready to assemble our windmill. Take your large piece of cardboard and your PVC slash pencil slash magnet block assembly which we will now refer to as the rotor assembly. Have the PVC pipes of the rotor assembly straddle the coil on the piece of the cardboard. Space the pipes so that the magnet block can spin without rubbing against the pipes and have the end of the pencil stick out in front of the cardboard. We'll want to leave enough space so that the pinwheel can be put on the pencil and not brush up against the cardboard. Once you have your rotor assembly properly placed, secure it with some glue. Next, we're going to add some cardboard stops so that the pencil can't slide back and forth too far. Cut out small pieces of cardboard and cut a hole in the middle of these pieces for the pencil. Place the cardboard on the pencil and glue in place. Now that our rotor is in place, we're going to place the stator around it. Place the stator pieces around the rotor so that the coils are in line with the magnets. 
make sure that the lead wires on the coils are all facing the same way. Glue the stator pieces in place. If your coil lead wires have insulation on them, strip it off the last inch. You can also use a lighter to melt off the insulation. Next, we're going to make the connections between the coils. At this point, there should be eight lead wires going around the rotor. With the lead wires facing you, start with the top coil left wire and twist it with the top wire of the right side coil. Be sure to twist the non-insulated portions of the wires together tightly. Move on to the bottom wire of the right coil and the left wire of the bottom coil. Twist these together lightly as we'll use these wires to make our LED connection. Tightly twist the right wire of the bottom coil with the bottom wire of the left side coil. Lastly, tightly twist the top wire of the left coil with the right wire of the top coil. Take the loosely twisted pair and attach one wire to each lead of an LED. We're going to now test our windmill before we secure the wiring we just did. Spin the pencil quickly and you should see the LED light up. If the LED does not light up, try making your connections tighter. Once your LED is lighting up, you can secure the connections with glue or tape to the cardboard of the windmill. You can also solder the connections to make them more permanent if you wish. Now we are ready to add our pinwheel. Start by drawing diagonal lines from corner to corner on your square piece of paper. Next, draw a circle in the center of your square. This circle should be 2 inches in diameter. We traced a roll of tape to make our circle. Now we're to cut from each corner of the square to the circle. Make a hole in the center of your piece of paper that a pencil will be able to fit through and punch a hole in the right corner of every triangle section of your piece of paper. Make sure the pencil can also fit through these holes. Place the piece of paper on the pencil and then fold in the corners with the punched holes to make the pinwheel. Secure the pinwheel with glue. Now it's time to test your final product. Thank you for joining us for this tutorial.